What's up everybody, Nitreg here from Nitreg.com and today is day 7 of the 31 day poker challenge. We are a one week in and this is going to be an awesome video, I think you guys are going to really like it. This is something that I'm asked all the time, it's basically how you set up your poker HUD and what stats you should use. So uh, this is going to be a two parter series. This first part right here is going to be how you can import the actual HUD that I use while playing games. Um, the, the same. The, the same HUD that you'll see on across all the videos that I have up on YouTube and nitreg.com. So I think you guys are going to really like that. And then in part two, I'm going to talk about all the different HUD stats, what they mean, why I use them, and how you can use them to exploit your opponents. As a quick note, if you guys don't have Hold'em Manager 2 already, go ahead and go to nitreg.com slash HEM2. You guys can find the link down below as well. And you guys can go ahead and get a free trial of Hold'em Manager 2. If you haven't had Hold'em Manager 2 already, I highly recommend it, and I'm going to be using it for this um, for this video in this entire series. For part number one, let's go ahead and get started. I just have uh, I just have this database up for the the building a bankroll challenge that I have, and you know you can just start wherever you want, and you can click. Uh, well, I'm under reports, but I'm not sure. I, I know under reports you can go ahead and click HUD options. But I think you can do so too if you're in on the home screen or anything like that. So uh, just go ahead and click HUD options. What you're going to want to do first is go ahead and click import. What you're going to want to import is the Holden Manager HUD that I have set up for you guys. You guys can go ahead and download that in the link down below. If you're on YouTube, it's going to be in the comments description. If you're on nitreg.com, the link is going to be down below in the post. What you're gonna what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and download that and keep that in a spot where you can find it easily. I would recommend the desktop. So go ahead and click import real quick. Go to where you have it saved. For me it's the desktop. And it's called nitrighud.xml. Go ahead and click that and click open. Now it's gonna ask you uh it's gonna say you basically already have these pop up files and you wanna overwrite them with the new ones because I, I've done a couple of tweaks to the default pop-up. It's basically the same pop-up, but I've added a couple of color coding and bolding and, and, and a couple different stats in a few spots. So if you guys really, really like the default or the one that you currently have set up, go ahead and click no through all these. But if you guys want to have the one that I have, which is basically the default plus a couple of other ones that I really like, and I'll explain in part two why I like them, uh, go ahead and just press yes throughout this whole thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and press yes, 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 yes. Go all the way through this. And then it's going to pause for a second. There's going to be another pop-up that comes up in just a little bit. Here it is. So it's going to say, there's already a configuration named default. Do you want to overwrite it? And you're going to want to click yes. All right. Um, if this doesn't pop up, you're going to want to go ahead and click this down down arrow thing right here. Go ahead and click that. Go down until you find default and go ahead and click default and default's all set up. As you can see in this little left hand uh, scroll bar thingy, there's all these different stats that I use. These stats are very useful. You can add new stats if you want. Like let's say that there's a stat that I don't have on here but you want. Let's say you want it on a new line. Um, as you can see in this little preview right up here, we have the top text which is their name and how many hands they have and then there's three lines of stats let's say we want a fourth line of stats and we want to add some of our own stats to this hypothetically I mean I think my HUD is really good for me but if you guys want to add these this is how you do it you want to go ahead and click new line and then see it creates this new line down below and then you want to go ahead and add a stat whatever stat you want uh, so let's say I want to add a 5-bet stat to my HUD well, I can go to 5-bet plus, here, the little drop-down menu, and then I can find whatever stat I, I want. Um, so 5-bet is premium, um, total 5-bet, and you know all, all these different stats. So I can either double-click here, um, or not double-click, I can either click here and then click this little left arrow to add stat, or if you can't find this stat, you can go ahead and click search stats down here. Once that's checked, I can go ahead and type in 5-bet, um, oops. There we go. So once I have typed in f uh, 5-bet, it'll have all the stats that have the word 5-bet in it, or tagged 5-bet. So let's see, total 5-bet in position, total 5-bet range, uh, total 5-bet versus hero, 
Um, I don't know. It, it, it's here somewhere, but here, oh, total qualified bet. I don't, I'm not sure. It's somewhere in the scroll down area. I don't really have time to look for it right now. I'm just kind of showing you guys. So go ahead and click whatever stat you want, and then you just click this over button. And as you can see in the preview up here, it puts it, it puts the little uh, the, the new stat down here down down here down below. Um, if you want to go ahead and delete the stat, then you highlight the stat right here, and you go ahead and click this right arrow, which is remove stat. Um, and of course, if you want to move uh, if you want to move different stats. Uh, from from line to line, you can go ahead and press these up and down arrows to move them. So let's say I want went to show down on that new fourth line. I can go ahead and press down, and now it shows up on the fourth line. But let's say I want it back up at the end of the third line again. Just go ahead and click up, and it moves it up one, and that's good. That's the way I want it. And I just want to get rid of this new line as well, so I can click remove line, which is the right arrow, um, and then that's good. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and add this new HUD that you guys imported and we want to go ahead and add it to the sites that you're playing at. So go ahead and click on site options. Now for me, I want to have this this HUD on all the sites. So I'm going to make sure that everything says any site, uh, any any games, any betting, any street, etc, etc. Then I'm going to click this down arrow right here and I'm going to go down to default and it's then I'm going to go ahead and press apply and that's going to go ahead and apply it all across the board on all the sites. I'm going to have this new HUD. Uh, let's say I just want this HUD on my Lock Poker account. Well, Lock Poker is on Revolution, which is formerly Cake. So I'm going to go down to Cake, click Cake, and then I'm going to go ahead and make that default, the default HUD that you guys just updated, and boom, it's all done. You just go ahead and cl click Apply, and it's all set to go. Uh, and then the next thing we want to do is go ahead and talk about pop-ups. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to pop-up designer. Now the two pop-ups that I have with this HUD are default post-flop and default pre-flop. There's a couple of other ones you guys can mess around with if you guys want to add it. But uh, post, default post-flop and default pre-flop are the two that I have. And here's the default pre-flop. So this is when you click somewhere on your HUD, it'll pop up with this. It'll show all these different pre-flop stats. Um, or you can uh, click the little tab that says post flop. So if you're post flop, there's relevant post flop stats. Th th this is good because you don't want to have your HUD just littered with all these stats. You want to keep just the stats that you use all the time. And then relevant stats for uh, you know specific spots you want to add to these pop ups. Um, so let's say for pre flop, I want, or actually this is post flop. Let's say I want to see how many times they dunk bet into me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the default post flop, which is right down here. And then let's say I want to add a new row with donk bet percentage. I'm going to go ahead and click this button, which is add new row. And it says insert after last row, and I want to click yes. And let's say I want a little bit of formatting here, so I'm going to make one more row just so it looks a little nicer. In this, I'm going to click this little bottom left cell and in this little typing box down here I'm going to go ahead and type in donk bet percentage so that's going to tell me, when I when I click the pop-up it's going to tell me uh, what, what the donk bet percentage looks like um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and add donk bet percentage here um, just to make it look nice actually let's see, this will be under total right here so let's go ahead and do donk bet percentage total. Now I could go through these little drop downs and find it, but I'm too lazy for that, so I'm just going to search for it. So click this little search stats button and type in donk bet. And I probably want the total donk bet, so maybe typing in tote, donk, no, that didn't work. So I'll just have to find it here. Uh, let's see. I guess I can do it by flop, turn, and river, but there should be a total donk bet. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I, I'm not seeing it, but um, you guys can look around. Let's say for for now, I just want the turn dunk bet or the flop dunk bet. Go ahead and click flop dunk bet. You're gonna want to click and hold down and drag it all the way over to the cell that you want it in. Since this is the flop, I'm gonna put it under the flop uh, column and I'm gonna go ahead and release and DBF, which dunk flop bet and uh, it's going to be in the right spot and this is good. So if you like this you're going to go ahead and click apply 
and uh, you can go ahead and check out what it looks like. Um, so let's see. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like in a second, but right now let's just say I don't want this stat, so I'm going to go ahead and click this row. Um, I want to delete these two rows that I made, and I'm going to go ahead and click this button, which is delete row. So delete row, and then I want to delete this last row that's just a blank, blank row. Just go ahead and delete that. Cool, and it's back to the way I want it. So really quickly, let's go ahead and check out what this looks like. I'm just going to open up random hand here. There we go. Um, so this is what the HUD looks like. It's kind of thinking about it and updating it. There we go. It's all set. Um, so yeah, here's what my HUD looks like, and I'll explain what all these numbers mean in part two. Um, but here's what the pop-up looks like. I can go ahead and click this little black area around the HUD, and it'll have my default pre-flop stats and my default post-flop stats. I can click this HUD here. There's my post-flop. So had I had saved those changes, I would have had the donk bet percentage right down here, but I ended up deleting those rows. All right, thanks guys for watching part number one. This was all about uh, how to import the HUD and how to go ahead and get everything all set up. Part number two will cover everything you need to know about the stats. Um, so if you guys uh, want, you guys can go ahead and go to nitreg.com slash HEM2 and you guys can get your free copy of Holder Manager 2. It's a free trial. Um, if you don't have Holder Manager 2 already, I highly recommend you go there and download it and you can go ahead and get my, my HUD set up here. So thanks guys for watching and I will see you guys in part two. Peace.